If you've ever wanted to create an animation where one layer in a composition follows another layer, parenting is a technique you'll want to investigate. Let's start this off by watching the reference composition so we can see what it is we're going to build. In the project panel, in the finished reference composition folder, double click on the finished reference comp, then press the space bar and you'll see we have a robot arm that animates in and magnetizes the letter A up onto the magnet. Now I just wanna focus on this section of the animation, the arm, so I've already animated the A and the little magnet lightning bolts. So I'll press the space bar to stop playback. And let's go back to the control with parenting start composition by clicking on it in the timeline here in the upper left corner. Now, in order to build this, let's set the relationship of these layers working from the bottom up. So the background layer is fine, it's not gonna animate. So let's go to layer five, the base layer. This is not going to animate as well. This is the base of the robot arm. Let's select arm one and press R to open the rotation parameter. Scrub on the rightmost rotation parameter and you'll notice the anchor point is in the wrong position. I want this to rotate around this center circle. So I'll just undo that last rotation, go up to the tool panel and grab my pan behind tool. Now I can click on that anchor point and reposition it right in the middle of that circle. So now if I scrub with the rotation tool, you'll notice it's rotating properly, but this layer needs to follow that layer. This is where parenting comes in. So I'll grab my selection tool and just undo that last rotation. And I'll select arm two because I want arm two to follow arm one. So in the parent and link column for arm two, I'll click on the little curly Q here and hold my mouse down as I drag over to the name arm one. Now arm two is following arm one. Let's repeat the same process. Select the top layer and have the top layer follow arm two. So click on its pick whip and point it at arm two. Now if I scrub, you can see all the layers are moving together. So Let's undo that last little rotation here and set some keyframes. Select layer two, hold down shift and click on layer four. Then press R to open the rotation parameter and click on the stopwatch to set our first keyframe. Move the current time indicator to 15 frames in the timeline and deselect all the layers just by clicking any empty space in between the layers. Now, Scrub on the rotation parameter for arm one until that layer is pretty much vertical in the scene. I'll set it to a value of 69. Let's do the same thing here for arm two. Scrub on the rotation value until that arm is parallel to the ground plane. I'll set it to negative 17. Let's set the rotation for the top layer so that the bottom of the magnet is parallel to the ground as well. I'll set that to negative one. Now, if we scrub, you can see we have successfully created our animation. If I press the space bar, you can see I even have the letter A popping into the scene, but I'll press the space bar again to stop playback. Visually, these are stacked incorrectly. And the reason I didn't deal with that at first was because I like to set up the parent-child relationships with multiple layers from the bottom up. So I stack things according to how I wanted them to be linked. But now I can move my top layer below arm two. So I'll click on top and move it below arm two. Now that looks correct. And let's select the magnetic A precomp and position that below arm one. Now we can see everything is actually set up properly and we've successfully executed our animation. So when it comes time to working with parented layers, it's always wise to pay attention to the location of the anchor points, especially when you're working with rotation.